so you want to be a cannoneer. So you want to ditch the boat and just take the cannon with you and blow enemies up with it. And you also want to have a little monkey friend. Well then, you've come to the right class. In the beginner tab, we have Master of Swimming, which of course allows you to swim a lot faster underwater, while also preventing you from taking damage while you're, you know, underwater. Master of Organization gives you 24 extra slots to pretty much all of your inventory, except for cash because that's already like maxed out. And um, yeah. So let's move into first job. In first job, you get Cannon Blaster, which will be your primary damage dealer. It does one line, but it's pretty strong. And norm you'll actually be attacking a little bit slower than I am. I have passives from future skills that make me have, I think, plus two attack speed. So um, this this class does attack super slowly at the, at the start, but it's strong. Next we have Cannon Strike, which I didn't really use. Um, it only attacks one enemy. It does more than just one line though, which is good. But uh, yeah, it only attacks one enemy, I never really used it. And then we have Blast Back which will pretty much act like a recoil shot, which will uh, launch you backwards. <laughs> I love how the little monkey has little animations. And if it hits an enemy, it can slow them down for 4 seconds. Well, I should say there's a 55% chance to slow down enemy speed. So yeah, it's pretty good. Monkey Push is your flash jump. Goes pretty far. It's uh, very good. Um, you can also go a little bit farther if you wanted to, if you use recoil. Or, uh, what was it, blast pack or something? So you could actually move yourself farther, if you did that. And then the other one is passive. So first job, mainly just using Cannon Blaster. In second job, however, you get a new, two new attacking skills. You get Scattershot, which is a much better mobbing skill. So it'll hit three times with, again, very good damage. The thing is, is that this attack attack, this attack, this class attacks slowly, but they do pretty good damage. And yes, it does mob as well. It's multiple enemies. So, as soon as you hit second job, you definitely want that skill. Your mobbing gets much greater. And then we have Barrel Bomb, which, okay, it's Miyamura. Oh god, he's screaming at me. So with Barrel Bomb, how does he know exactly when I'm starting? With Barrel Bomb, as the barrel is rolling, It'll push back enemies, and then explode when uh, at the end. So another great mobbing skill. And then we have Cannon Booster, which I just used. Uh, just makes my attack speed faster by 2. Increases movement uh, attack speed by 2, I mean. Oh god, something's still attacking me? Alright, um, next we have Monkey Magic. This, this gives you and your party members, what was it, 25? Nope, 30 all stats, as well as some HP and MP and jump and speed. So very good party skill, especially early on. But of course it helps later as well. Critical fire, passive, cannon mastery passive, and pirate training, another passive. Alright, so let's move on to third job, where you get cannon spike. Pretty much your first, your your main attack is going to be the same for most uh, most of these. So cannon spike, except it gains more lines, of course. So cannon spike will hit what is it four times I think, and multiple enemies, of course. It uh, pierces through enemies and does some pretty good damage, as you can see, compared to the skills I was using before. However, you don't max it. They don't give you enough points to max everything, so I just don't max this because you never use it after their job. So next we have Monkey Fury. And it's kind of weird in this map especially, because if there's something in the way, it'll bounce off of it. So you launch a bomb that has kind of like physics, sort of. You like bounce it off the floor or anything like that, but it can go through enemies. And any enemies that have the debuff, oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Any enemies that have the debuff will continuously take damage, as well as take 40% um, extra damage from your attacks. 
The cooldown to the skill is only um, 10 seconds. And yeah. It's a very good debuff because it increases your damage 40%. So Monkey Wave. There's a 95% chance to stun enemies for 4 seconds. And you can charge it up. However, at full strength, you gain 5% crit damage. There's also a 50% chance that after you do a crit hit, a uh, critical hit, you get a fully charged um, attack without having to charge it. And you can tell by the drum above your head. So just press the button, and it's already fully charged. You get the 5% damage, um, crit damage buff. So we have cannon jump, and this allows you to jump vertically up to two times. Although if you use it from the ground, you can do it three times. So. They tell you that you can, you know, hold up while you're in the air, and then press the jump key and you'll do cannon jump. But if you use it on the ground, as in you have it on a key, and you press it, you can do three. So one on the ground, and then two in the air. And of course the attack, it it's also counts as an attack. But um, for great mobility, you can do flash jump, and then while you're carrying the mobility when you hit the floor, use cannon jump, flash jump again, and then to do two more jumps. And you can get very far like that. All right, so next we have Barrel Roulette. And I've kind of stopped using this skill um, because, I mean, it is good. I just didn't really, uh, mm, I don't know. It, it's just, it, it takes so long to activate. Here, I'll show you. So there you go. And I can't move until that whole animation goes away. However, if you get the right um, buffs, then it could be good. So let me tell you about the buffs now. Lightning gives you an additional attack, so when you attack there's like a final attack that, that happens. That does, um, of course, extra damage. Um, and it, it attacks up to 6 enemies. If you get the ice buff, you get crit damage 5%, so that's really good. If you get the snail barrel, you get slow, which can slow down enemies at a 50% chance. Slows them down for 5 seconds. This works on bosses as well. And then lastly we have the Skull Barrel, which pretty much poisons the enemies. You do want to max this however because of the passive effect. But um, I, I just stopped using it because it takes way too long to cast. Alright, so next we have Luck of the Die. And this gives you the ability to roll a dice, or a die. And if you get a 1, you get nothing. If you roll a 2, you get defense and magic defense. If you roll a 3, you get HP and MP. If you roll a 4, you get crit rate. If you roll a 5, you get damage. And if you roll a 6, you get extra EXP. So let me go ahead and roll some dice. And I got a 3. So my HP and MP was increased. By 20%. And the buff and the cooldown are both the same, so you can use it as soon as it runs out. And the rest are passive. This is the plus one attack speed here that I was talking about, the passive one. Another passive... Counter Crush. This is another passive that gives you a 20% chance to ignore pretty much the attack that was about to hit you, and then counter the attack. So I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, never mind, I got it to work on the first hit! <laughs> So yeah, it'll say counter above your head and you won't take damage from the attack, but you'll also send back damage. I don't, however, I haven't confirmed if this works on percent HP attacks. I want to say it doesn't, because I know Pirate's Revenge does, but I don't, I don't know if this does, um, or else it probably would have said. But if someone could confirm it for me, um, please leave it in the comments. So now we get to, you know, fourth job and we get the uh, Cannon Bazooka, which you probably saw me using just now, like a while back. And Cannon Bazooka is your main mobbing skill. It attacks a far range, it hits really hard. Um, the thing is, is that of course it's slow like most of your other attacks. But as long as you use it while you're flash jumping, it won't seem that slow. But yeah, the range on it is beautiful. And again, it's very strong. It's also the skill that phantoms steal for mobbing. Alright, so next we have Cannon Barrage which is your bossing skill. It only attacks one enemy, but it hits them, what is it, five times? Four times. Five times if you have the uh, hyper-add into it. Um, so it hits them four times, 
with a bonus crit rate of 15%, so whatever your current crit rate is, add 15% to that, and that's what this will do. Also ignores 20% of enemies' defense. And then we have anchors away, and um, you launch an anchor in front of you, which will stun enemies and keep pulling them to the center of the anchor. This does not count as a distraction skill though, so if you're fighting a boss and you want to distract it to make it attack like, I don't know, another direction, that's not going to work. This is only to stun enemies and pull them closer to the uh, anchor. Also when the time runs out on it, um, I believe it lasts 20 seconds, but it has no cooldown so you can just keep doing it. Um, it'll explode and do a lot of damage. So yeah, like I said, you can just keep summoning it. So if you want to like drag enemies away, you can just like do that and then keep doing it. But anyway. Next we have Monkey Militia. And here you summon two monkeys. I'm going to have three because of the hyper. But you summon two monkeys to just stay in place and do damage to enemies around it. They are, however, very strong. They are very good. Like each monkey counts as a different attacker. So if an enemy is close enough to all three of them, or both of them, then both of them will attack. And like I said, I have three, so all three uh, will attack. They do pretty good damage. And they attack fast enough. Nautilus Strike. When you use Nautilus Strike, it's like an AoE skill. It'll attack a wide area around you with some pretty good damage. But also, it has a secondary effect of reducing the cooldown of Barrel Roulette and Roll of the Die. Or Roll of the Dice by, um, by half. By 50%. Then we have Pirate Spirit, and this will give you knockback resistance of 80%, so 80% chance to resist getting knocked back. Uh, let's see, it also increases the percent chance of the counterattack going off, so instead of 20%, it's 35% now. And then we have Maple Warrior, which gives you and your party members 15% all stats, which is great for that monkey magic that you had in the second job. And then we have Hero's Will. Well, actually, I'm not sure if Monkey Magic counts towards uh, percent stat. I'm, I'm sure it does. But anyway, now we have Hero's Will. This will get rid of an abnormal status that's on your character, like Seduce or anything like that, except Stun. I don't think it gets rid of Stun. Maybe it does. I haven't actually tried it. But um, it also leaves you immune to abnormal status for three seconds after you use it. And here's a passive. Gives you attack speed, though, so that's good. Mega Monkey Magic. So now, this gives you 60 all stats and a lot of HP, MP, speed, and jump. And this is for you and your party. So yeah, very good. Double Down allows you to roll one extra die when you use um, Roll of the Dice. So there you go. That one had two, so I got a four and a six. And if you roll two of the same number, you get a boosted effect. Um, I believe it's by 10% for each one. So if I rolled two fours, it would have been 25 instead of 15, and if I rolled two sixes, it would have been 40, and yeah, so on. Alright. Oh, I should also mention with Roll of the Die, or Luck of the Die, hmm, I guess they changed it for Ketanir. If you roll a 1, the cooldown is reduced for uh, Roll of the Die. Or luck of the Die. Anyway, <laughs> going on to Hyper Passives. I added in to um, enhance for Monkey Militia so that I can enlist one more monkey because three of them are very strong. However, if you're doing, uh, what was it, damage cap I think or something like that, um, this would be the better option. It gives the monkeys one extra line but decreases their damage. So this is like a hits per second kind of thing instead of, um, but anyway, yeah, you, you, for now you're going to want this. And then we have Cannon, uh, the Bazooka, the one that's your mobbing skill. I increased its damage by 20%, as well as increased its line by 1. Cannon Barrage, I increased the damage, as well as the number of attacks by 1. So now instead of hitting 4 times, it hits 5 times. And I missed. You could, however, switch out the Monkey. You could, like, not have anything into Monkey and do 15% um, Cannon Barrage, which is the bossing skill, if you want that extra crit rate. But I don't feel like I need it, so I didn't do it. 
Now we go on to active hypers. Buckshot is pretty pretty good. Okay, so I think it should be times three. I don't know why it says plus three, but anyway. Um, so it reduces your dam your final damage by forty five percent, and your attacks can't go over fifteen lines because that's the cap in Maple in general. But it increases the amount of lines you do by three times. I don't know why it says plus three, because I'm not doing eight lines when I hit with a uh, cannon barrage. I'm doing, um, what do you call it, 15. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and show you what that looks like. <laughs> Just went off the screen. All right. There you go. Now you can see it. I had to like actually do a cannon jump there. So let me go ahead and hit him. And as you can see, the damage just goes off the screen. And it's multiplied for all of your attacks. So that'll do more lines. Uh, this'll do more lines. The only thing that doesn't do more lines is your summons. So they'll still only hit one line each. But for any attack that comes out of you, well, that's not a summon, will do more lines. In fact, let me see, maybe this will. Nope, that still does one line, because it's a summon, I guess. So yeah, your mobbing and bossing just got a lot better with this. And then we have, at 170, Rolling Rainbow, which is a summon that actually does count towards the extra lines. Or does it? It has three, so let me see. So you put it down, and it has a pretty wide range. Pretty long range, too. No, it doesn't count, because it's a summon. So you're able to just place it down, it lasts for 12 seconds, continuously damaging enemies, and um, it has a cooldown of 90 seconds. And then at level 200, you have Epic Adventure, which just gives you and your other Explorer uh, party members 10% damage, which also stacks with other adventurers as well, or explorers. And that's about it for Cannoneer. So let me show you some mobbing. And then we'll go into the bossing. And he just screamed at me. I didn't see it, but I'm sure he did. So the mobbing, I mean, you have a lot of summons that you can take advantage of. You could, like, place the monkey up there, move over here, and then, uh, you know, place the anchor maybe on this platform. Because the anchor itself is also very strong. And then, of course, if you had the 170 hyper not on cooldown, you could have that as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much their mobbing. So let's move on to the bossing.
So when it comes to the busting on a cannoneer, I like to throw out the uh, the cannon or the cannonball. It's for the extra damage. Summon my anchor. Summon the monkeys, and just go crazy with pretty much everything. So it's pretty simple. Um, they also are a strength based class, even though they attack with attack with ranged attacks. Oh my god, let me let me move away from him. <laughs> he keeps stunning me. Alright, so yeah, you can attack from a distance. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much their buzzing. Just attack him with the cannonball, and attack with the bazooka. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next one. And uh, have a great day. Or night. Or whenever you're watching this. Just have a good one. See ya.